welcome this is the energy vibration reading for um the libra and sun moon and rising and um all tight listen my sun moon and rising sign but there is more information i want to thank each and every person especially you librans a special special thanks to all the new followers all my new librans all my old librans all my subscribers thank you I want to say to each and every person out there thumbs up to yourself um, for you know coming back each week each month to you know the, the, the monthly readings is such an amazing um, how you live and support me and I want to say to each and every person out there thank you thank you for um, the support um, thank you for joining me every week, every month, whenever you can. Um, sometimes the readings are longer. Sometimes the reading vibrate with you. Sometimes the reading doesn't vibrate with you. But take whatsoever you get out of the reading. That is very important. Okay, this week is a week of change. Um, the energy of the fives are here for you guys. The energy of the fives are here, yes huge changes is going to happen in your life huge huge changes is going to happen in your life huge changes um changes in your financial situation is going to happen um worries about financial your financial burden um there is a situation um with love it's a burden on you um as we look in the middle of the week um you have the energy of let me look at my glasses uh, three times five is your number energy this week three three times five is your number energy this week three is also um a number that you should look at so three times five three Three times five is uh, um, your number energies. Okay, it's in the night, so I have to wear my glasses. Okay, um, this week love seems to be playing a huge significance on you in the first week, but I'll get to that. As I look at Monday, you have the ten of wands. The ten of wands. Okay. the week is going to begin yes i'm i'm very off because <laughs> i just experienced something that is um but the, the the energies are changes so i just experienced something anyway um the wheel of fortune is the energy vibration of this week and with the wheel of fortune the energy vibration of this week carrying the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is karmatic situation so Whatever happened in this week, it is a karmatic situation. So whatever lessons, whatever situation that you have had in lifetime and lifetime before, it's coming back in this week to play out. A lot of you librans is coming back in this week to play out a lot of you librans. So whatsoever has been happening in your life and um, depends on, on what you give out to other people this is exactly what is going to return to you guys in this week there is a significant change that is happening because you have number 33 you have the energy of the ascendance masters and you have the number five energy which is huge transformation is going to happen in your life it's going to happen with past um soul soulmate soul family cosmic family and in the, the galactic and family it's going to happen with your financial situation and um as some of you who um balance you uh, the balance you have no you, you you're not balancing stuff and you're not seeing you because you're not balancing now you're seeing the truth of a situation um, it's, it's a strange week for you guys because um, there's actually no real energies that are protecting you in this week. You know, it's all about 
things, situation, lessons that you have to learn from the past, okay? Money seems to play a role, but the Ace of Pentacles is coming to you. So for the people who are having financial problems, Thursday, you're going to receive a message of money coming into you, okay? All right. Um, on Monday, you have burdens. On Monday, you have really burdens. You have burdens. Um, and this burden is... Uh, have to do with love. Um, you know, some people will feel heartbroken. It's all about love. It's all about um, you're having regrets. You're having regrets over a situation. You're having regrets over a situation that happened and it's become a burden to you. For some people, they can be missing someone that is making you feel burdensome. Okay? On Tuesday, you have unhurt energy vibration that is helping you. You have the two of pentacles. And you're trying to balance your emotion and your financial situation. There's changes also coming in love and in your financial situation. Okay? So... Whatever is happening, there is a situation that is happening that um, um, it, it, there is going to be a huge change that is happening. A huge change that is going to come in. Okay. In the middle of the week, we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands uh, is Virtue. And I like using this card, especially on a week like this. It's a Virtue. And whenever this card deck of virtue come up, and especially this thing of virtue come up, we forget the virtue. We forget how we play. We forget how we change. We forget certain things, certain aspects. And this week is going to teach us about that. And as we come down and we find virtue within ourselves and things around us, you are going to see that money is going to come in okay so it's as if we are not thankful for what we have so we block that sense of virtue that is here and that is what is going to happen okay another wonderful day is Thursday the ace of pentacles comes up so it can be some people are coming to the end of a journey um, for some people who have been extremely positive, the Ace of Pentacles is coming up in your reading, which is extremely good. Um, and the message of money is coming into you. Another one we have is the Six of Cups. So a lot of people will be connecting with their soulmates, uh, soul families, um, cosmic families on Friday. So you could be connecting on um, the energy vibration of the hurt energy vibration or you, the 3d form or you could be connecting in the spirit world okay and it's going to be for a lot of people two different the spirit world and also the 3d form which is the earth energy okay as we move to saturday the princess of the prince of cup comes in on saturday whatever happened to the prince of cups he comes in, this is a young energy that is coming in to give you a little support, um, loving support. Um, this Prince of Cups is coming in to give you loving support in this week. And it's going to be good because this person was sent from the universe. And um, this person is coming in to express um, a thanks, love, that sort of a thing but yet still this person it was as if um a galactic beam a sort of a galactic beam a sort of a situation that is uh, working with you so he came in uh, to help you okay it's like a cosmic family or that sort of a thing but the energy is going to come in the form of a young person um, temperance is in reverse so there is a situation that is going on that um, there is no clarity to a situation um, 
there is clarity to some but not clarity to everything so you're kind of in and out in and out this is a strange I've been getting these strange reading it's a sort of an in and out in and out so there is a complex of the week for you air sign people because there is absolutely no support okay it's all about money coming into um, some of you especially when people between the ages of 18 and 35 there is a form of money coming into you money will be coming in for the people who have been asking for help and also because we have here virtue virtue with the energy vibration of the Ace of Pentacles together and this is a very positive sense because uh, new doors new portals are going to be open it's as if you're leaving behind something and you're moving to something better and that is going to open the world to you in a positive way so you know what's the way it's happening at the end of the day on Sunday if you take the time you will see the clarity to a situation and sometimes when these things happen um, you, you you know you you feel oh my god okay I'm just seeing it yeah and sometimes it's too late because sometimes whoever and whatever the situation was has changed their energy vibration or moved to something different so some people can come in your life to help you um, to a certain point and then they just move away from you and this is something that happened because you know you're feeling the burden so you have regrets you're feeling the burden as I look at your love section because we're moving into the love section now you feel your burden because it's it's really here there is a burden there is a change with love for you um, and there's a change in your financial situation for the people who have been having a financial situation you're moving away you're going to look at another way to focus and deal with that and it's going to come in your life because pleasure with a soulmate is going to come in your life on Friday so you could be meeting this person physically or mentally physically is uh, when you and I see each other mentally is via the spirit world as I've said this month of July a lot of people are going to connect with their um, intergalactic families and their soul families okay so whatever is happening um, someone or something know someone or a being or something um, is going to bring you love but this love is going to be a powerful love it's going to be something that is going to heal you and this is going to be wonderful this is just going to be positive so love is more about people grieving something and they're grieving because they should have dealt with something differently and um, they're leaving that behind they're ca they have been carrying it as a burden and they're leaving that behind and then they're going to see these sort of energy just coming out because um, on Saturday I there's something about this for the people who have kids who's of um, Scorpio, Scorp um, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer, um, be aware. Connect with your kids because it's as if you're carrying a burden. And um, this kid is coming to you to say, you know, I love you no matter what. Um, you know, this, you know, there's an healing that is going to come. I love you no matter what there's a healing that is going to come so this is good okay um, new situation are going to affect your life new situation are going to come in your life 
you're going to have a soul connection with someone who you have known for a long time and this is going to be on Friday and what I'm realizing with these readings because I'm constantly see it on Friday if you're trying to manifest for the full moon Friday is a good day to start writing what you'd like to manifest because on Sunday is the full moon as we move forward um, we're going forward because I'm using um, the vortex the energy of the vortex and let's see what the Libras receive for the energy of the vortex Ascent of my every desire can be fulfilled I am loving these cards I'm loving these vortex the essence of my every desire can be fulfilled and that is so true if your time space reality has the wherever to improve a desire when you want it it is out of our absolutely promise to you that your time space and reality has the ability to deliver in full manifestation forms the reality of the desire is as inspired the ensure of any and all desire can be fulfilled unless you are holding yourself out of alignment with your own desire the feelings of a compensation of shortage or limitation of reasoning makes you or see you as an alignment with your own desire this is beautiful this is so beautiful it's okay people this can give you so much meaning and what it's saying is that the ascent of my ever desire can be fulfilled so whatever your desire is you can manifest it in your life and you can make sure that you fulfill this sort of energy the next energy that I have which I'm working with two wonderful extra deck and we have this is from the law of attraction it says plan the celebration now sweep the floor clean the seat pick a date win the shop buy a few things go out on a limb Re rearrange the furniture pick some flowers take some time off no 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 not necessarily because the tripping point has been reached but because this is how you reach it this is wonderful this is extremely wonderful this is a, a, a wonderful this is the color yellow for you guys to work with in this week and remember your number is one um, three and five and I'm saying have a wonderful week and um, enjoy um, July 4th and if you'd like to join me live um, on YouTube I am having a July 4th celebration which is my two years on YouTube and um, please connect with us and please like share it and thumbs up and again thank you and I'll speak to you